guys, this is Showtime from Showtime Shred Fitness over here. Size, growth, get big. All right, so today we're going to talk about, uh, you know, not, not forgetting where you came from. So, if you were at one point from very humble beginnings, embrace that. Don't lose it. Don't lose it because you can big-headed or cocky or whatever. Uh, remember, one title does not guarantee the next title, right? Um, that's, that's, uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, another thing, though, is sometimes you guys are um, the other way. So maybe, um, you know, you have that fighting spirit and you don't remember who you are. Okay? Uh, recently watched... Uh, the Lion King. I don't know how many people saw that. Um, but Simba, baby lion cub, right? He was a little cocky when he was young, right? But he forgot who he was. He forgot who he was. He was brainwashed into thinking something he wasn't. Okay? So what happened is that he needed someone to remind him who he was. He didn't believe it. He'd be running around with the boars and the, the, and the insects and the freaking the, the, the mongooses and shit, right? So he, he, didn't, he didn't realize how powerful he was. He didn't, he didn't turn him into a vegetarian, right? So they brought him, right, the baboon. The baboon brought him and put him in front of the uh, the water so that he would look down into his reflection and he saw who he was, right? The skies opened up, his dad talked to him. That sealed the deal, man. He knew, he knew right then and there who he was, what he had to do, and how to do it. There, right? And this Joker scar killed his dad and all this other stuff and freaking running with the jackals and the hyenas and stuff. Right? Got him out of there. Took his place at the throne, right? So don't forget that. Don't forget who you are. Similar story over here. Right? Same deal. Baby cub. Walking along there with the lions, and another pack of lions jumped his wolf family, slaughtered him right in front of him. The mom happened to ditch him off into the into the bushes. Okay, so he ended up he ended up surviving. Okay, like Simba did. But same deal. He's lost out there in the jungle. Everything else. He wouldn't have made it. He'd have gotten eaten up and, and all this other stuff. He would he would have been uh, he'd have been done for. Um, but then this uh, this pack of uh, sheep they come up. Same deal. Same as the baboon and the freaking uh, the mongoose and the boar, right? This pack of uh, of sheep take him under his wings, save his life. Turn into vegetarian, right? And uh, but same deal. He didn't forgot who the fuck he was. So they go and just walking around, chilling. A pack of lions again slaughters his family. He's, he's all fucked up now. He's a baby cub now. He's this big lion, but he doesn't even know it, right? And uh, PTSD now, right? Because it's the second time. That his family's been slaughtered in front of him. Then the lions are like, the fuck are you doing, man? What's wrong with you? Right? They're shoving frickin' into his lamb, in this lamb into his sheep, into his mouth, right? And he's trying to spit it out, force him to take a, take a bite, right? So it's not too bad, right? Better the vegetarian stuff I've been doing. So then they, they grab him by the mane, and the same thing, right? The 
was somebody who put him in front of the water so he could see his reflection. And he saw who the fuck he was, right? And he climbed his way up the ranks, freaking took the throne of that family that killed his family, right? Became king of the jungle. Just like Simba takes the throne with his new queen, right? So remember, remember that, you know, we put three plates on there, four plates, five plates, you're like, oh man, I don't know, Showtime, I don't know about this five plates. You know, my best was three. I'm like, no, it's not, remember? Last week we did four, did we? Yeah, we did. Going up a plate each week, remember? You gotta believe, you gotta believe in yourself. Your mind, your heart, your spirit, your body. You gotta believe in yourself, and if you don't believe in yourself, you get with a lion that believes in you and climb your way up the ranks now the same thing when you walk in your classroom right you walk on the wrestling mat in the wrestling ring in the MMA if you walk in the octagon right the boxing ring football field the platform the bodybuilding stage your corporate ops right place of employment. Okay. Don't let some sheep run that shit and flush it down the toilet. As soon as that sheep goes up against the lion, they're gonna get slaughtered. Right? Do what you were destined to do. Okay? Be that lion that you've been suppressing because you go home to a negative Nancy that's chingy, 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 tell you no good or you're mediocre and all this other garbage, don't listen to it. You're with the freaking gloom and doom bastard that's always telling you, you come home, you're all upbeat, you know, you've had a good day at work, you know, you're good to your kids and everything else, you're a great woman, all this stuff, you come home to this guy who's gloom and doom, pissed off, complaining because the grass is green, in one ear out there, they don't listen to that shit, okay? Go take your place at the throne and be that lion. And don't think you're some sheep. Don't be running around with all these guys that are like, hey, you know, you're, you're with us, you're mediocre. Don't buy into that garbage, right? Step up. Step up and lead your people, right? Do what you desist, do what you were destined to do. Go take your place on the throne and lead your people to victory. Leave your legacy. Don't leave it to the other sheep. That's what I'm gonna say. So in Showtime with Showtime Shred Fitness over here. Size, growth. Get big, alright.